Hi there. This video is designed to assist you in setting up your EasyPay account within Accelerate. The first step in this process is to submit an application for an EasyPay account. This is handled externally through EasyPay, so you'll want to head to easypay.com forward slash accelerate and follow the appropriate prompts in order to register an account. I've also included this link below in the description. Keep in mind that EasyPay may take up to 48 hours in order to process your application and that this process is out of our control. After your application is processed and accepted, you will be emailed your account credentials. You'll want to hold on to this email as it'll have all the important information you need to get started. At this stage, you're now ready to begin the integration process within Accelerate. In Accelerate, hover over Settings. Select System Settings from the drop-down. Here, you'll want to navigate to Web and Other Integrations. Scroll down until you reach the EasyPay Integration section, which looks something like this. If you find that this section isn't available under your system settings, contact our support team. Here, you'll want to enter the Merchant ID, Merchant Username, and merchant password included in the email you received. After doing so, make sure you scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save Web Settings. After you've ensured that your web settings have been saved, it's a good idea to utilize the Test Connection button to check that you have a valid EasyPay connection. If this comes up false, double check you've entered everything correctly. You might have noticed that there is a field which asks for a default note type. Whenever an EasyPay subscription is created, activated, or cancelled, a contact note containing the details will be generated against the contact in question. Creating and setting a recognisable note type will make it much easier to find this information within your system when you need to. I won't go through the contact note type creation process in this video. If you need a refresher on contact note types, I've left a help guide article in the description. Keep in mind that this is an optional field. Leaving this blank will simply cause the system generated note type to be used instead. That about sums it up for the EasyPay application and integration process. Keep an eye out for the subsequent videos in the series where we look at creating payment plans and connecting contacts. As always, thanks for watching.